uh, this is a really cool uh, honor to be able to chat with uh, Chef Fabio Viviani, uh, who, of course, appeared uh, as a fan favorite on Top Chef. Uh, Chef Fabio, thank you so much for joining me here on Movie Show Plus. It's a pleasure, Tom. Thank you guys for having me. How you been holding up uh, during this pandemic? You know, um, personally, uh, at home, because, uh, of course, we can't quite travel. But, uh, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a very bizarre um, scenario. You know, uh, we have, uh, we own and operate um, 33 dozens of restaurants, hotel, casinos all over the United States. So the coping and the pivoting of the business has been quite an experience. Uh, sure. Never in a lifetime I would imagine to have to reinvent literally the business overnight. But, you know, uh, that's what we do. We adapt, we overcome and conquer. So I would say that 75% of our restaurants, they are doing all right in the takeout, carry out kind of space. Okay. Of course, it's not, it's not a complete sustainable, sustainable business model because we are in the business of presence. We are in the business of physical hospitality, not yeah. theoretical or yeah. virtual. An interesting challenge too. I mean, it, all food in general, but especially, you know, the Italian culture, upscale Italian cuisine, like, like Bar Verona, uh, yeah. th these places, I mean, family, uh, communal is part of the dining experience. You know, it, it's, yeah. it's like, you can't, I mean, it, it's great to do carry out food and get good food and have it at home, but it's not the same as going out and experience it with a group of family or friends, uh, yeah you know, be interacting with the service, the staff. Exactly. Yeah, I mean, so how do you see the future of this in the short term? Um, I mean, are you guys obviously just gonna do what you can do or do you think that people are gonna come out to the, to the restaurants? So I, I, think the, I think the Bar Verona, both in Commerce and Washington, they offer excellent uh, customer experience, right? Yeah. So you have to take your family out and come and eat with us from the hostess greeting you to a clean parking lot, to beautiful dress table, to the cocktail, the wine list, the, the dishes, the care and, and love that we put in everything we do in the Bar Verona brands and in any other brands we own and operate is the essence of our experience. Mm -hmm. Now, if for the next month, two months, three months, six months, we have to adapt, at the end, we're in the business of serving people. So we wanna make sure that people are comfortable. What do I need to do? Do I need to add a few extra um, sanitation station? Done. Do we need to have a disposable menu? Easy. Do we need to, I don't think we can upgrade our cleaning procedure because right. my restaurants are spotless. You could eat on the floor. Yeah. But what I'm saying is that maybe we have to have a little bit less capacity. The good news is that Washington is a fairly smaller space, yeah. uh, but in commerce, we have a big restaurant. So you could have a hundred people there and they're all, you know, four, five, six feet apart. That I would was, be, that would probably be easier. I, I was talking to another restaurant owner recently and <clears throat> uh, he was talking about th this idea of, you know, restaurants opening back up at, you know, half capacity. Um, not only is that a problem, but it also- It's a is bad idea. So if you tell me that I got to run my restaurant for a few months at 25% capacity, uh, capacity or 50% capacity, you are omitting the thinking that whether you want me to have a partial occupancy, I still got to pay the full rent, the full insurance, the full licenses, the full everything. So the yeah. business model makes no sense. But the restaurant industry employs 11 million people. A restaurant is the largest privately em private employees in United States, employee in United States, employer, I'm sorry, in United yeah, sure, States. Sure. So, you know, you shut that down, the supply chain, the distribution chain, the, the, the produce company, the meat packing facility, the, the fish, everything goes down. We are, the, we are the pillar of United States economy, or at least a good chunk of it. You know, <laughs> all I hear is that let's bail out airplane company, which by the way, we should. We got to help all company, not just big companies, small company, airplane company should get a bailout. But so do restaurants. You know, sure. I, I'm always very fair. You know, I want to get back to work. I want to serve people. I yeah. want to do well for my community. I want to take care of my employee. But we do need some help. Talk about the two locations specifically in Michigan. Yes. Are mm -hmm. there any plans to uh, to grow um, and, and with more restaurants in the <clears> area? Uh, and are you planning on being in uh, in town anytime soon if people wanted to I, run into I you? I was supposed to be in town last month. I'm in town very, <laughs> very often. You know, okay. I do a lot of events. 
uh, with uh, both Bart Veron and Commerce. Uh, my partner, uh, Joseph Caradon and Chris Coza are excellent hospitality developer. And if I know them half of what I think I know, the growth is there. You know, there is going to be a hotel and a new Verona branded restaurant opening sometime later this year, early next year in Shelby. Um, There is going to be something opening downtown Detroit, bigger hotel project. So the Verona brand is not only here to stay, but is here to to thrive. Where can people find you on social media? And if they wanted to learn more about Bar Verona, where could they go? So Bar Verona... uh, website social media on instagram you get most of our updates right for me it's fabio viviani for bar verona is bar verona commerce or bar verona washington um we post frequently so it's very easy to get hold of us if you want to watch what i cook all you gotta do is to go on youtube and type fabio's kitchen we have probably 300 episodes already out there. We are a movie show normally when it's not in the middle of a pandemic. Uh, what's some of your favorite, favorite movies of all time? So one of my favorite movies of all time is Goodfellas. Ah, of course. Yeah. Goodfellas. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Uh, I'm a big friend of Al Pacino. So Scarface and, and anything with Al Pacino involved is very good. Um, you know, I never got into the whole... Uh, for me, movie has to be something that actually could happen. Ah, uh, sure. <laughs> so for me, the Lord of the Ring. It's tough for you to get into fans, tough, superheroes. It's tough to get into. No, I do believe that Thor exists, though. So they, <laughs> they're incredible. Okay. You know, you know, like, you know, all the, all the, you know, I don't know. Maybe X-Men is a little bit on the verge for me from Lena uh, too much, or maybe not that happen. But I like, I like old school movie. You know, from Il Padrino to Godfather, mm-hmm. Goodfellas, Untouchable. I like old school stuff, you know. Well, hopefully we can get back to movie theaters and do yeah. dinner and a movie, go to Bar Verona, then catch a flick afterward. Uh, Absolutely. Something soon here. Uh, Fabio, again, thank you so much uh, for joining us. And, I appreciate uh, you, man. Best to you and your restaurant and your, and your family, and good luck. Thank you. Thank you so much. Enjoy the rest of your day. God bless everybody. Stay safe, guys. Thank you.